Hi everybody, my name's Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel. And it is a prep day, guys. Yay! Which means tomorrow's a Shabbat. Yay! All right, we still got the drum rolls here in the uh, jungle. How has your week been? Good. Gentlemen, everyone alive? Yeah. Anyone seen anything exciting? Mm, no, not really. No stories of like craziness or madness out there? Anything we can bring to the people? No. No. <clears throat> so, uh, Jade, I heard you met a uh, semi-famous rapper guy. Um, of course, we won't drop any names, but this guy is... Uh, it, it's its really, really weird because um, for anyone who knows who we are, we are pretty much like anti that side of the world. And so we had this little dude with his pants halfway down um, trying to impress us a lot. And uh, it didn't really do the trick. It didn't do the trick at all. In fact, we are very, very less impressed. The more that we see the world, the more that we see the, the actions of the world and the way these people are, um, it's, it's completely, it's just whacked. And this guy was like one of these guys that has music videos with all the women and all this other stuff. And the dude is a straight up beta male. And i if this is what I'm like, I, all, all my life, I've always seen these guys and these guys are pretend to be something they're not. And then I actually met one of these dudes in real life. And it's exactly what I thought they were beta males. Homeboy needs a beard. So anyway, um, he also needs scriptures, and so I was trying to get him into scriptures as well. We don't know why Yah always sends the weird people our way that they do, that he does, um, but he is now, uh, he's on the Bible block, and I've been, I've been we're, uh, we're doing all we can to help Homeboy retrieve his souls from, uh, his soul from the depths of hell, which is already there. So that was exciting this week. Um, we are the family who believes what, gentlemen? With the last saving commandments for all generations, we believe that. Commands are not in a way where they're not put on the cross. I think you're running that one. I think you better try that one again. That was like, that was a mumble. That was a mumble. That's what those guys call mumble rap. And he got, he's actually talking about people. They're just like, brruh, brruh. we could do uh, mumble teachings and we could just like not say a word and just kind of spit nothing out. I think that's what we did. Jade, try this again. We are the people that what? Slowly and articulated, please. We believe that the laws, statutes, and commandments, the first five books of the Bible, Genesis through Deuteronomy, are the law. That is the Torah. Is what we should be following every single day. It was not done away with. It was not put on the cross. It, no P Peter, Paul, any disciple said it was done away with, and we should still be following it. Um, Messiah, we believe his name is Yehoshua, because there's no J's in Hebrew, and he died for our sins who have repented of sin, and he became our male exec priest, so that we don't have to sacrifice animals every time we break one of the commands. Yeah, what is your favorite command, Eli? I, it seems like you're resting right now, but uh, probably Sabbath, right? You get to sleep a lot. What's your, what is it? I, I won't answer for you. What is it? <laughs> Are you? Are you really offended? Have, I don't really have a favorite. You don't have a favorite command? Not exactly. What? I all agree. Whoa! All right, Jade. What do you got? You got, you got? What's your What's your favorite command? I think it has to be the Shabbat one. That's it. That's my favorite command. Sh yeah, because I, I like the day off. Yeah, Kate. What about you? Kate, are you awake? Oh, I thought we were going to do Shabbat already. <laughs> he was thinking. <laughs> Is he Mr. Cole? While he's thinking, what's your favorite command? I don't know why not. It's well, it could, it could be our favorite. There's no such thing. Yeah. And, and the appointed time, celebrating the feast. <clears throat> you like the appointed times? I like. You like the Day of Atonement? I like feasts. Oh, that's a fast. <laughs> I like fast. I like feasts. Okay. All right. Kate, okay, do you have one? I don't think I have one. No, you don't have a uh, favorite command? No. Oh. Well, I like Shabbats. I like um, the appointed times. Those are good commands. Um, I like the zeets too. Zeets, zeets are cool commands, aren't they? Yeah. Super cool commands. I like the I like loving Yah with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul. Right, that's a command in of itself, and I think that's a huge command because it tells us that we need to commit our entire lives, our entire everything that we have to our Creator, because He's good. He's very, very, very good, and He has blessed every single one of us with life, and has blessed us with amazing an amazing world that we are in and so loyalty and everything needs to be given back to him and you're not going to be loyal to your creator unless you are observing his laws statutes and commandments and there's no way you can love him with all your heart mind and soul if you don't absolutely without a shadow of a doubt love every single command that we have in fact as we're sitting here just you know spur of the moment i ask these guys what's your favorite command they're all great. They're all really, really good commands, and you have to really think through this stuff because there's there's some commands like Sabbath. That's a that's a heck of a command, right? Isn't that a great one? So as we go into Shabbat today, when sun sets today, 
is when Shabbat begins, and it's from sunset to sunset. I know a lot of you guys will go sunrise to sun to sunset. Um, it's all good. We're not throwing stones at anybody. We're not throwing axes at anybody. Um, we are living the commands as we see them and as we have understood them, as we believe. And when we have our Messiah, <coughs> Yahushua, and there's no J's in Hebrew, Messiah Yahushua will figure this all out for us and he will dial this in so that we're all um, astute and ready to, to be uh, patrons to the um, kingdom to come. Now, what you're looking at real quickly, guys, is you're looking at your scriptures, the greatest English translation you will ever see. The book version before you is limited edition. There's not there's not the, an infinite number of these. This book is an, unlike any book you will ever have, you will ever see. It is 3,153 pages. It is 103 books. The colors that you see on these scriptures are the same colors that Yah built his tabernacle with, the same colors that as you read scriptures, it's obvious there's more colors that are Yah's more favorite colors because he has everything designed in them. And so this is what you're looking at. And this is a restored name scriptures that's taken all the pagan names of our creator and his son out. And now you see Yahushua and Yahuwah in them. Now, fellas, we are in the book of Isaiah. Yes, Yahu. And this is a, um, a chart right here that we've looked at extensively as we've looked through this. And what for those who are brand new to this, this is the, the basically all 12 tribes of Yisrael. You're looking at them at a, a overview glance um, as they were split into two different kind of two different nations, really. Um, you have the north and the south. And um, the northern tribes were comprised of 10 tribes, and they were taken into captivity in 722 BC. And then you have the southern tribes, which you had Yahuda, Judah, and you had Benjamin. And they were taken into captivity in 586. Now, <clears throat> the ones who were taken into captivity in 586 are the ones who came out 70 years later. This is the one that everybody talks about. Nobody really talks about the northern tribes uh, because they are in captivity. And according to prophecy, they have never been returned. And so when you look at scriptures and you look at the end times, these are the nations. These are the people right here that will be called from across the, the, the lands whenever the new kingdom comes. And so right now we are in the book of Isaiah. This is his time right here. And Isaiah was um, talking to, he was talking to the northern tribe. He's also talking to the southern tribes. But he right now, we are in the life of Uziah, in the life of Uziah and the life of Isaiah. Um, now, uh, Uziah died, or he didn't, uh, he died, obviously, but... Spoiler. Uh, yeah, he, he uh, spoiler, he dead. So is everybody else in this list. They're all dead. Sorry if you guys didn't know that, but they are. Um, but he died of leprosy, and so he wasn't actually, uh, he got kicked out of, like, everything, and he just had to, to run this thing from the back ends. So, guys, what you're looking at right here, this is the Google version of uh, Yah's scriptures, completely 100% free. This is thousands of dollars worth of software and time, and it's absolutely free of charge. You guys can download it. There's a link below at the bottom. It's yahscriptures.com forward slash download. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything to bring back on these because there's, it's not quite a recap like these other recaps. These are, are kind of different things than we're used to. Everyone ready? Yep. Yep. All right. In the year that sovereign Uziahu died, I saw Yahuwah sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the Hayekel. Um, what do you guys make of this? Where people can't see the face of Yah, and we have uh, an accounts like this. Do you think he was just, he didn't see the face of Yah? You think, what do you think this looked like? I mean, even most of you see the face of Yah, so yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very will, well, majestic we'll... thing. Yeah, and so thoughts, anything? Think he was just from a distance? How far away do you think this was? 50 feet? Say, uh, say, so you could see, he could see the um, sitting on a well. throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the high ankle. Uh, what, do you know? Do you know what that means? Does anyone know what the train of? He has like the trim around the out at the bottom of it. No, I think this is like a wedding dress. It would be like a wedding dress. <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Cole, I had to like look over there for some advisement. Um, so when you have a wedding dress, which uh, boys, when's your wedding? Anyone have weddings? No. Has anybody had a date? No. Has anybody ever held a girl's hand? Um, moms, yeah. moms. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're not going to be dealing with a uh, wedding train thing for you guys. However, um, <clears throat> this is when you do get married. On the back of the dress is like, what is it, Mr. Cole? It's like a long. It's, it's like, just a piece of fabric that can. It's like a cape or something. Out, yeah. It's a cape on the back of your dress. It's a train. It comes with you. Is it hooked? It's it's not hooked to your neck though. It's hooked to the back of the dress. No, nah, it's hooked to the waist. Hooked to the waist. Okay, so there you guys go. Now you will know. Okay. All right. And above it, <laughs> Jade, take notes. Above it stood seraphim. 
Each one had six wings. With two, he covered his face. With two, he covered his feet. And with two, he flew. Where have we heard about these before? Um, isn't it Revelation? Yeah, Revelation talks about this. We, we hear about these things before. These are, these are interesting things. Okay, and <clears throat> one cried to another and said, Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh is Yahuwah of hosts. All the earth is filled with his esteem. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe to me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the sovereign, Yahuwah of hosts. All right, so what's happening here, fellas? He's, like, uh, like creaking out because, like, he thinks that he's unclean and, like, he's an unclean people and uh, they shouldn't be there because Yahoo is there now. Yeah, Yah's there. Okay, and one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. Now, this thing had six wings, right, the seraphim? Mm -hmm. What do you think this sounds like when this thing comes flying to you? <sighs> Very aggressive. Do you think the wings all flew together? Do they fly? I mean, there's six wings. Do you think they're like fly like? Uh, I don't know how uh, like angel works. Uh, maybe use them for different speeds. One for slow speeds, two Ooh. for higher speeds, and three for he, super he, high speeds. He could have trolling mode at just like little bits, and then he could have like full speed with all well, yeah, all wings like, flying. Like, well, he's like really fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whenever Yas sends him, all six wings, roll it. Okay, here we go. Um. Okay, so seven, seven, right? And one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a, a having in his hand, and I just did it. I done it, guys. Seven. Six, you seven. Don't, you don't have that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but he had the tongue, right? He had a live coal in his ha in his hand that was taken from the tongs from the altar, and he touched my mouth with it. This is a hot coal, right? And see, and said, see, this has touched your lips. Your wickedness is taken away, and your sin is covered. Do you think this thing hurt, or what do, you, do you think he was tripping out when the, when this hot coal was going to his mouth? I don't know. I know if it's I don't know if it's more of a spiritual thing or if it's actually like physical thing that he's getting. Burned yeah, with. I don't know. And I heard the voice of Yahuwah saying, "Whom do I send, and who would go for us?" And I said, "Here am I. Send me." And he said, "Go, and you shall say to this people, hearing you hear, but do not understand, and seeing you see, but do not know." Make the heart of this people fat and their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and shall be turned and healed. Then I said, Yahuwah, until when? And he answered, until the cities are laid waste and without inhabitant and the houses are without a man and the land is laid waste, a ruin. And Yahuwah has removed men far away and the forsaken places be many in the midst of the land. All right, what is he, what is he? What's the answer to this? What exactly is happening? What did Isaiah ask and what was the answer? Anyone? Um, so, yeah. This is uh, sweat starting to drip off the side of his head because he didn't even... I, neither of these guys listened. Jubs is gone. Yeah, Kate is gone. Everybody's gone. At least all right. still here. Yeah, you're, you're at least here, here physically. Um, I wish full on mentally we were, we were running this. Okay. <clears throat> This is what the, the creator of the universe said to Isaiah. He's like, whom do I send? And Isaiah said, it's me, send me. And then Isaiah says, what do, what do, I, what do I say? And this, or actually, Yahuwah said, this is what you say to these people that they're going to be destroyed. Everything's going to be taken away from them. Every, it's all going to be trashed. And he goes, until when? When do I, when do I stop saying this? And he goes until it's when it's over, right? When everything has been removed, uh, men far away and the place, the forsaken places, um, be many in the midst of the land, right? Um, anyone with me? Cade, yep. you're back. N nobody's with me. Jade took off. Yeah, I think he was all saying at one point, like, don't like let them like hear that you wanted me to do it. They like they they need to repent because they're, they're too late. They need like they need to be taken out. I think. Yeah, and point is what it seemed like in ten. And, you know, the fascinating thing, I think, is, is Yahuwah, until when? And he's supposed to sit here and prophesy this until it's game over, until everything's over. So you have a guy like Isaiah who's out there, and now his mission is to tell these people it's over. That you guys, um, that you, the, the, your, your heart is fat, your ears are heavy, you've shut your eyes. And the only way that you're ever going to see with your ears and eyes and understand is with your heart, right? And, and when... You know, this is the same message that all of us have today. 
if we will turn from our wicked ways and we will seek the creator of the universe, then our eyes will be open, our ears will be open, and we will be in covenant with our creator. Okay, last verse. But still, there is a tenth part of it, and it shall again be for a burning, like a terebinth tree and like an oak, whose stump remains when it is cut down. The Kodesh, Kodesh seed is its stump. Okay, what did this final thing prophesy? Did anybody catch this? It means that even when they're cut down and they're gone, they can come back. Yeah, there's going to be one-tenth of it left. The trunk is going to be, and for anybody that's ever cut down stuff, you can cut down trees, and if you don't cut it all the way to the stump, and even sometimes out of the stump, it will grow out little little uh, limbs and things like that. It, it's not completely dead. Um, and so this is what our creator has said. He basically cursed these people and told them it's going to be game over. Um, but there's going to be a remnant. Now, this is different than the northern tribes of Yisrael because in prophecy, they don't come back, right? This is, we're not talking a tenth of the northern tribe. We're talking only the southern tribe when he's, he's talking about this. And so there we are. Um, I guess everybody's back. Cade's nearly asleep. Um, Jade made it back. We should stick around. Appreciate that. Um, anyone have anything else on this at all? Don't be like the uh, tribes of Yisrael. Yeah, don't be. Yeah, don't be like the tribes of Israel or Yehuda, right? Don't be, don't be like either one of these guys. If you guys want to be a covenant people, if you want to be in covenant with our Creator, then it's about the first five books of scriptures. And in the first five books of scriptures, you will find things that are beautiful. These are all the commands of our Creator. Now we go live tomorrow at eleven o'clock, and so if you guys want to hang out with us as we reiterate and read through these commands, which we're commanded to read through, so we're actually keeping commandments when we do this. Um, you can catch us on this main channel. The Yahoo and the Torah channel on YouTube is where you will find us, Yah willing. Okay, with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Much love to you all. All right, sure out.